And then next up, we could take out our blocks and just fill in this side as well. Now, if you want glass on the back, you absolutely can go ahead and do that as well. But before I go ahead and jump right into that, let's quickly get this side of the wall done. We are going to set it up so we can call that we can now call the elevator from any side. We need to do that. We need to set it up so we can actually call our elevator in whenever we want any floor that we want. We want to be able to call our elevator over. All right, guys. So now it's time to do our instant call portion of this elevator. We want to be able to call our elevator in from any floor at any given time. So we're going to come out one block from here. This is just in case you're doing the door. we got to come out at least one more block because our door is going to be going right here. And then we're going to place a button off. And then we're going to do that on every floor. So come out through the middle. See where our floor ends. Come out from the middle. And then place a button right here as well. Come out from the middle like that. Place a button. And then on this one as well, come out from the middle and place a button just like that. Now we're going to start off by placing a block down, a block up with a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay and do that on every single floor. So block down, block up, block down, block up, and block down, block up. Place a repeater coming out of it on one tick delay on every single floor. So when you click the button, the repeater comes on. Now we're gonna take out our command blocks and we're gonna place one command block facing away from the elevator. Make sure that arrow is facing away from it like that. And then we're gonna come right here, go inside of this command input and then we're gonna type this out. We're gonna go ahead and put in clone. And now basically we're gonna take the coordinate we have for our full block elevator right here, this full block portion of it. See this big blocky portion of it? We're gonna go back over here and use that coordinate. It should be in your notepad under full block elevator coordinate if you wrote it down that way. I hope you are, because it makes this thing a lot easier. I don't want you losing any of your coordinates or whatever you wrote it out. And we're just gonna put in clone. And we're gonna clone our full block coordinate for mine. Mine's negative 16, four, negative 391 negative 15, eight, negative three, 92. That's my full block coordinate. And then we're, now we're gonna use our elevator coordinate from our notepad. It should be the first one all the way at the tip top. Mine's gonna be negative one. And now instead of four, we're gonna go down one. Make sure you reduce your number by one. So mine's four, I'm gonna set it to three instead of four, and then negative 389. So whatever yours is, if yours is 200, make sure you put 199. If yours is 389, make sure it's 388. Just reduce the middle one by one so now that should be able that will make it so we can instant call it to floor one so when i click this button we'll get instant call so uh let's just bring it up a few floors let's bring it over here to floor four now we'll let the elevator go all the way up to floor four and then i'll show you that it can get instant called right to floor one so as you see it goes all the way up to floor four however when i click the button boop i am now able to go right inside my elevator here and we're going to do that on every single one so now to make our second floor instant call work, we have to do the same thing we did down here with our command block. Make sure you place it the arrow facing away from the elevator. Go inside of it. We're going to be using our full block coordinate once again. So our full block elevator coordinate. Mine's going to be clone. Of course, mine's a negative 16. You've heard me say it a million times. 4, negative 3, 91. And then negative 15, 8, negative 3, 92. And now for this portion, however, this is where it's going to get a little bit different. Now for our elevator coordinate where we normally put, you know, negative one, four, negative three, eighty nine, or, you know, now we just did negative three for our coordinate over there. We're going to change our four over to whatever our coordinate is on our second floor. So let's quickly come over here and to find our second floor coordinate, make sure your elevator is set to your second floor. Come to the back left hand corner and we're going to need to dig down at least one block right here. Just dig down one block. So that means our coordinate is going to be eight. So instead of four, mine's going to be eight. Yours, of course, is going to be different. Just make sure you dig down that one block from your second floor like that. And it should be that coordinate. So we're going to come over here, go to where our four is now, go over to it, get rid of that four or whatever yours is, and then just change it to the number we just got. So mine's negative one, eight. So now I should have an instant call to floor two now. So if I go here, instant call it to there. Well, actually, let me go ahead and quickly uh, delete out all this stuff. So there we go. So I can instant call. Oh, <laughs> Let's bring this elevator up a little more. There we go. So now if I want to instant call it over to floor two, click the button, boop, and there we have it. The elevator is now there. All right, guys, so now it's time to get floor three's corner. So we're going to be doing the same thing, just using our full block elevator right back there. And we're going to come back here to floor three, dig down the block in the back left-hand corner, and we're going to get that coordinate right there. We're going to need a 13. Just remember that number. Like I said, all you need to do is remember the middle number. Yours can be whatever it is. Just remember that one number. Come over here, and mine's 13. That's got to remember it's 13. We're going to appear, and we're going to clone our elevator first. So clone, of course, mine again. I'm just going to put in my elevator without saying it because I've said it 300 million times. <laughs> Negative 15. Eight, negative three, ninety-two, and then I'm going to take that coordinate that I just got. So my elevator is negative one, four, negative three, eighty-nine, and I'm going to take that four and change it over 
to a 13. So now I should have an instant call for that portion of my elevator now too. So let me come up here and just completely whitewash this out. So boop, 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 goes all the way down. So now if I want instant call to three, boop, there we go. I have my elevator set to instant call at floor three. And then last but not least for floor four, let me quickly go ahead and open up floor four. Same thing, come back here to the back left-hand corner, break this block, mine's going to be 18. Come back over here, place in my command block facing away from it. So remember mine is 18, go inside of my command block. And there we go, I wrote it out, I have an 18 there now instead of a four. And then we're gonna go ahead and click it and now I should be able to instant call it now from here too. So let me go ahead and send it down. It goes to floor three. So now if I want to instant call it to floor four, boop, there we go. Every now every single one of my floors has an instant call function to it now. So if you want to stop here and you don't want the door or the player detection, you are completely done. You have a multi-floor elevator that has an instant call function to any floor that you possibly want. So you can fill this back area up with glass if you'd like to. This is what I normally do, but you do not have to do this. It just looks cool on the side of a building to have your elevator go up and down and be able to see outside and people being able to see inside while you're going up and down the elevator. So, but if you want to fully, you know, just white it out and make it so no one can see inside the elevator, that's fine too. But I like to be able to see inside of it. So boop, 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 there we go. And there we go. So like I said, if you don't care about the doors, doors on your elevator if you don't care about um the player detection you are completely done you have a multi-floor elevator now we have a complete multi-floor elevator all right guys so now that we have our multi-floor function working we have our elevator pretty much completely working it's time to work on those doors now i'm going to be making my doors out of light gray concrete you could change it up to whatever you'd like i'll have the minecraft id list in the description below but our door is going to be going right here in between every single one so basically what we're going to do is get rid of this whole entire front section that's why we stuck that button out an extra one was just for the doors and we're going to bring these blocks going all the way down for our door all the way down to the bottom and i usually like making the color of the door on the outside too but i guess it really just doesn't matter so that's basically where our entire door is going to be going and also make sure it goes down one extra block right here so let me go ahead and quickly break out each section of our elevator like that like that and right here's another portion all you have to do is just follow where the buttons are over here until you reach the tippy tip top there we go so now it's time to get our entire elevator door coordinate which starts from here and goes all the way up there to the tippy top last portion of our door there is a section inside the notepad so go over back to your notepad and all the way at the bottom well close to the bottom it should say elevator door cord or coordinate that's just short i'm going to come right here i'm going to get right here on the left hand side and we're going to write down that first coordinate so go over to your elevator door coordinate and write this down right underneath it so mine's going to be negative one four negative three eighty seven and now for the second one just press enter and then we're gonna go all the way to the top 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 right here and we're gonna place i want to place a block right here in the middle of our elevator break this block and then stand right here and this is going to be our second coordinate right here so, so mine's going to be 0 21 negative 387 so those are my two coordinates for my door so now basically what we're going to have it doing is pretty much filling this entire section with our door and then also getting rid of it while it's going off on the elevator so to set off our first function for our door is to fill in the whole front with concrete when we press the first button. So we're going to come over here and then right here where the redstone block is going to show up, we're going to place our first portion of our door here. So I'm going to be using a different color again. I'm going to be using purple like I did when I showed it off in the beginning. Purple is our door block and I'm going to actually put it on this side over here. So right here where there's an empty space, we're just going to place a block, place our first command block on our up function, go inside this command block. And then inside this command block, we're going to go to command input and we're going to type fill and then write our new, new command we just wrote down for our door coordinate. So mine's going to be negative one, four, negative 387 and then zero, 21, negative 387. And then I'm going to press space and now I'm going to be using, like I said, light gray concrete. So I'm going to write out concrete and then space eight. That will make it so it's light gray concrete, concrete. Eight. I'll have the Minecraft ID list in the description below in case you want to get any other block. Maybe you don't want your door to be concrete. You could change it to whatever block you want. There'll be the Minecraft ID list in the description below. But now when I come over here and if I click any one of these floors uh, from the first floor, it will actually fill in all of these doors with light gray concrete. So ready? Boop. And as you can see, every single floor was filled in with light gray concrete, every single floor. So now basically we're gonna set this up so it does that on pretty much every single floor. <laughs> we wanna do it on every single floor. So now this is where these command blocks right here 
come into play. The ones that I told you to face away, this is where they come into play. So we're going to come over here to this backhand side and where this one is facing outwards towards this way. I told you from the beginning to make sure you do this. We're going to place in a block here. And then we're going to place in one of our chain command blocks coming out of this one right here. So place your chain command block here. Go inside of it and write out the same thing again. We're going to fill, put in our entire door. Negative one, four, negative 387. I'm just going to write it out because that's my door coordinate. Yours is going to be different. So 21, negative 387. And then we're going to go ahead and just put in at the end concrete eight. And that will fill it in there as well. That's in case we choose a different floor. And then, of course, on this side over here where it's coming out, place a block, place another chain command, go inside of it. And again, fill, put in your coordinate real fast. There you go. I wrote it all out, my command and concrete eight. So that means every time I select a different floor, it will always close the door. That's why we do that. It's just it's just to close the door that closes the door. And then we don't have to do a bunch of different ones. We could just do the same one over and over again because it'll just keep filling in every single door. Next up, what we're going to do is make it so the doors open up when we get to a certain floor. So to do that is very, very simple. We're going to do the up function first. So the uh, first floor shouldn't have a, a door that opens up because it can only open up from the down function or if we click uh, the quick call section. So to make it so because once we're in the elevator, <laughs> if we're inside the elevator, guys, we won't be able to leave it. We won't be able to leave. It's like if you see if I go to floor two right here, boop. <laughs> we won't be able to leave the elevator right now because every single door is just going to remain closed. So now we need to make it so the doors actually open up when we get to a certain floor. So now it's time to write down a few more coordinates. Yes, I know this is the boring part, but what we're going to do now is we're going to reopen every single one part, every part of our elevator, just reopen every single part. There we go. There we go. There we go. And we're going to get down the coordinate for each individual door. The reason why we have to do this is because we want the door to open up when we get to a certain part. To, well, because we want the door to open up when we get to a certain floor. Now I do all the way at the bottom now where it says elevator door coordinates. And then there's floor one, floor two, floor three, floor four. And you know, all those floors. That's the reason for this part. So to get the floor coordinates for each door, we're going to come right here and stand in the left hand side of our door, stand on the left hand side, and then write down that first position for floor one. This is floor one's door. So mine's going to be negative one, four, negative 387. Now to find out the second coordinate, all we have to do is just like how we found out the top one up there, place a block in the middle, break this block, stand right here. And that's going to be the second coordinate right there. So it's going to be zero, six, negative 387. Now remember this, remember this, the first number always goes up by one and the second number always goes up by two. This will make your life a lot easier down the line to remember how that works. This will make your life a ton easier. If you look at floor one, your first number only goes up by one and your second number only goes up by two. Remember that it will help you in the long run in the future. Trust me. So when I get to floor two, I see four, two mine's negative one, nine. So I'm going to write this down negative one, nine on floor two under my notepad and then negative three eighty seven. And now, like I told you, the first number and the second number are always going to go up by one. So now when I place my block here and I come up here, as you can see, negative one went to zero. So it went up one and then nine went up to 11. That went up two. So it's the same over and over again, up one and up two for the second one. So zero, 11, negative 387. There we go. So four, three is going to do the exact same thing, guys. We're going to come right here. So the number is going to be negative one, 14, 387. So let me write down the first one. Negative one, 14, negative 387. So I mean, my second numbers are going to be zero, 16, and negative 387 before I even go there. I already know that because it always goes up by one and two for the second one. So there you go. See, zero, 16, just like how I said, it always will go up that way. So zero, 16, negative 387. And then last but not least for floor four, you have to write all these down. Trust me, you have to do it. <laughs> Come right here to the bottom left-hand corner. It's going to be negative one and 19. So that means I know it's going to be zero and 21 next. So floor four underneath, it, I'm going to write down negative one, 19, negative 387. And then I'm just going to write down my second one right away because I already know it's going to be zero, 21 and negative 387. That's how it always is. And that's how it always go up no matter what, it doesn't matter what number you have. I know it's going to be different from mine, but yours should only go up by one and two for the second numbers. So now it's time to plug in those numbers because we want the door to actually open up when we get to it. So let's quickly go ahead and clean it all up again. Boop. <laughs> there we go. So we want the second floor to open up when we get to it. 
So what we do is come over here. And when our stone block pops, what happens is when our stone block pops up right here, it will actually cut off this redstone, turning it into a bead of redstone. And we're going to take advantage of that bead of redstone. So on this side, we're going to place a block next to this redstone. Place our command block here. Now, I know no redstone's going into our command block, but we're going to take advantage of it because that stone block is going to pop up right here, cutting off the redstone. We're going to go inside of here. We're going to go into our command input, and we're going to type in fill. And we're going to take our first elevator door for floor two. Go to four two on your notepad and we're going to write out that coordinate so mine's negative one nine negative three eighty seven then it's going to be zero eleven negative three eighty seven and i'm going to fill it with air so that is for my second floor so if i come over here and if i go to my second floor by clicking this button right here if i go to my second floor the door should open up and there you guys have it so the door opens up on the second floor and we're now we're going to do the same thing over here. So for four, three, this is going to be four, three right here where the redstone is. We're going to place a block. It's going to turn into a bead of redstone because of the stone. Place it here. Go inside of it. Go in here. Press and fill. Go over to your notepad. Once again, go to four, three, pl plug in those coordinates. So mine's negative one, 14, negative three, 87. So then my second one's going to be zero, 16. Like I said, it always goes up by one and two. So you don't even have to look over at your notepad for the second one. Negative three, 87 air so now if i go to the third floor it's going to open up so if i go here and i click the third floor so here's the third floor right here we'll go up the third floor and the door should open up and then last but not least for number four we're just going to come all the way to the end now if you are going to add more onto this if you're going to add more onto this go like this come out a block like this place your four tick delay repeater place a block in front of the repeater with some redstone like that this is only if you're going to add more floors in the future if you're going to add more floors in the future Make sure you do this because you don't want to have to break anything and you don't want to have to move anything. Make sure you do it just like this and then just plug it in the way we've been plugging it in the whole time. Place a block here. Place your command block here. Go inside of it. Go over to floor four on your notepad. Type in fill. Then go put in your floor four. Mine's a negative one. 19. Negative 387. And then, of course, zero, 21, negative 387. And I'm going to fill that in with air. So now our door should open and close no matter how many times I go up. So if I go to floor two, door closes, door opens up. If I go to floor three, door closes, door opens up. If I go to floor four, door closes, and door opens up. So now all our doors are working on our up function. Now it's time to make all our doors work on our down function so guys basically we're doing the exact same thing we did over here nothing changes we're going to place our first one right here let's do our uh fill first and then we'll do the air next so we'll do our, our fill for our concrete and then our air so starting here next to nothing we're going to place our command block go inside of it and we're going to write down the same coordinates nothing changes so fill and then we're going to go ahead and put in our coordinate for our actual door of our elevator the entire elevator door coordinate so mine is a negative one Four, negative 387 and then the next one's going to be 0 21 negative 387 that's my entire door coordinate and i'm going to go ahead and type in con create eight like that and we're going to fill in all those first so now when i go down it should fill in the entire door no matter what i do so let's say if i went here boop as you see it'll fill in the entire door now we're going to do it for the rest of them. So we're going to come over here. And now on the down function, this is where it gets a little bit different. Remember, I told you to face all your command blocks out that way. I hope you did it. I told you guys at the beginning, face it out that way because we're going to be using yet again another chain command. Now, if you didn't face it out, you can just use a normal command block. But sometimes it gets a little laggy and wompy. And sometimes the door won't close after it opens up. So I like using a chain command block here. But if you didn't face it out and you don't want to delete anything, you can just use a normal command block here if you really want to. But I highly recommend using a chain command block like that. See how the arrow is facing outwards right there? And we're going to come up here to our second floor. And the door will fill in right here. So we're basically just going to do our next fill in right here. So it's going to be fill. Then we're going to put in our elevator door coordinate once again from our notepad. So mine's negative one, four, negative 387. And then, of course, it's going to be 0, 21, negative 387. Just like that. And then I'm going to put in concrete eight. There we go. So now it should fill it in on the second floor well actually I should say that's the third floor that was the fourth floor this up here is going to be the second floor so now basically what we're going to do now is come over here to this one this one right here and we're going to put in another chain command block like that and now we're going to do the same exact thing go inside of it 
and then we're going to type in fill and put in the same thing once again for our elevator door coordinate negative one four negative 387 and then mine's going to be 0 21 and negative 387 concrete eight like that for my light gray concrete and as you can see it always just is in two it comes in two so one two and comes out one two and it comes out And if you make yours bigger same thing one two comes out one two comes out it's the same thing over and over again so now whenever i click the button to go down the doors will always close so on floor two the door will close on floor three the door will close and on floor four over here the door will close now we have to have it so the doors open up so just like before wherever the stone block pops up is where our doors are going to be opening up so right over here off of this block as we did it over here and see we always came off the side of the block with our purple this shack should be right here underneath it we're going to do the same thing we're just going to come right underneath it oh yeah let me also put purple right here and right here like that there we go so coming off the side of this redstone we're going to place a purple block and then we're going to go ahead and place in a command block now for this floor right here this is remember it goes backwards instead of going upwards it's going backwards so this is floor two so we're going to put in our floor two coordinate so just go over to your notepad find floor two underneath the elevator door coordinate my floor two is negative one nine negative three eighty seven and then of course it's just going to be zero 11 negative 387 remember it always goes up by one and two so i don't really have to look at my notepad again to figure that out and then space put in air like that so that means whenever we go down now from floor four or three floor two's door should open up so if i come over here to floor four boop, let me click that real quick oh that's right this isn't working yet so we're coming here so if i go down to floor two no matter where i go down to floor two the door should open up so boop the floor opens up so let's go back up to floor three and if i click floor two from floor three the door should open up ba -doop -ba -doop, and the door opens up perfect so now we need to make it so the third door opens up so we just come over here go right next to that redstone place our block place in our command block go inside our command block and then do the same thing so go over to your notepad find where it says floor three underneath the elevator door coordinates so my floor three is right there so fill negative one 14 negative 387 and then of course it's just going to be zero 16 negative 387 and then i'm gonna type in air and that will open up my third door so now no matter what if i come down from floor four up here if i just come down from floor four oh, you know what? let me just let me just call it real quick so now if i come down from floor four right here like that and i go to floor three no matter what the door should open up so boop, the door opens up perfect and now last but not least we want floor one to open up so to open up floor one, we come all the way over here. Now, if you want to extend this, like I said, if, from the beginning, if you want to extend it out, make sure you come out an extra block with a repeater, set the two ticks, put a block in front of it, and then place in your redstone. So let me get a redstone real quick. Bloop. And then place in your door right here. Make sure you do this. This is for people that want to extend it out. If you're not extending it out, then you really don't have to do this. You just place it like that. But I'm in just case people want to extend it and make it bigger, make sure you place it in just like this. Then, of course, go in here, find floor one on your notepad, go and fill. Mine is negative one, four, negative 387. And then I have zero, six, negative 387. And then I'm going to type out air like that. Perfect. So now when I come over here and I go anytime I go to floor one now from any part of my elevator going down, the door should open up. So go down to floor one boop, and the door opens up and there you guys go. Now your doors are working up and down from any floor. Now we need to just set it. So when we actually instant call the elevator, the door opens up when we instant call our elevator. Now to set up our instant call function for our door, we need to make it so the door actually closes on every other floor and then opens up on your floor. We, I, Well, you don't have to do it, but it just looks a lot better when you do it that way. So what we're going to do is come back over here. And the reason why I made us make this arrow face out that way is because we're going to be placing down two chain command blocks here. This will close the door and then open it right away. So right off this command block, we're going to place our chain command block, go inside of it. And then right here, we're going to go in here and type in fill. I'm going to put in the whole entire elevator door coordinate like we've been doing for the other ones. So we're going to put in our entire one. Mine's negative one, four, 387. Just go over to notepad and right underneath your elevator door coordinate. Just write down that one. Mine is next going to be zero and then 21, negative 387, and then concrete eight. That's the first one we have to write down because we want to make sure that the door closes. So you see right now the door is open. However, when I click the button, it closes. Now we want to make it so it only opens up that section because we want every single door to close and then open up on our floor. So we're going to come right here and out of our chain command block, we're going to place yet again another chain command block. 
go inside of it go over to your notepad look for where the elevator door coordinates are go to go to floor one because we are on floor one and write out that so we're going to put fill find our floor one on our notepad one four negative 387 and then of course is and then my second coordinate is going to be zero six negative 387 and we're going to fill that with air so now when it calls from that floor it will open up the door so boop and the door opens up now the reason why i said that is because let's say we have a you know what let me go ahead and quickly just click any one of these buttons like that to close off one because that's the only one we have done right now so let's say four four is open right now we want that one to close and this one to open up down here so when i click the button boop it closed it and it opened it up down here now we just have to do that with every single floor this first command block will always be the same on every floor just giving you a heads up the first one to fill in the concrete will always be the same so i'm going to quickly actually go ahead and do the rest of those real quick so just go inside your uh first one and just do that fill the concrete eight one so it should always be the same it should be your elevator down coordinate mine's going to be fill negative one four negative three eighty seven zero twenty one negative three eighty seven and i'm gonna fill that with concrete eight and i'm gonna do that on every single one so i'm gonna do that with these other two right here real quickly just real quick all right guys i quickly went ahead and just added in all those concrete eight ones now this is where it's going to change so out of the second one we're now on floor two we just look over to our notepad where it says underneath the elevator door coordinates on floor two we're going to place in our chain command go into it and then we're just going to type out fill look at our floor two on our notepad mine is negative one nine negative three eighty seven and then zero eleven negative three eighty seven and we're going to fill that with air so now floor two should be working so if i click it right here that one closes that one opens up i can do it down here again closes opens up closes opens up next up is going to be the third floor so look at floor three underneath your coordinates on your notepad so my floor three is going to be fill negative 114 a negative 387 0 16 negative 387 i'm going to fill that with air so now floor three has the instant call function working as well working as well so there we go floor three is working floor two is working and floor one is working and now last but not least for floor four just come up here oh i gotta come out one more block hold on one second there we go go into sneak mode place in your chain command block go inside of it and then go over look at your notepad find floor four so fill Mine's negative 1, 19, negative 3, 87, 0, 21, negative 3, 87. Fill that with air. And there we have it. There's all our doors working. So we have the instant call function for every single floor. Every single one should be absolutely working. All our up and down doors should be working. And now we can come out one more block. I like to come out one more block here with blocks like this. That, 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 there we go. I'm just going to bring it up. You know, let me just bring it all the way up like that. There we go. And then I'll fill in each flooring. There we go. And then I have my floor right here. So this will be your floor. Let me go ahead and quickly actually get uh, some quartz. So right here's your floor. And then we're going to go up three, place in the door, floor, up three, place in the door, and floor. So there is all four floors completely done. So if you don't want the player detection, you just want the multi-floor with the instant call function and everything else pretty much you are completely done but now we're going to go ahead and do the player detection so when someone's inside the elevator no one can call the elevator thus getting the person stuck inside the elevator all right guys so we are on the final stretch of this elevator this is the last part of it this is the player detection part of it so when someone's in the elevator someone can't call it thus getting the person stuck in the elevator suffocating dying and whatnot <laughs> so basically what we're going to do is come right here and break every one of these blocks going into our instant call function leading into those command blocks because what we're going to need is these coordinates for this portion now all the way all the way at the bottom most bottom part of your notepad there's something called player detection this is where we're going to be writing in this coordinate so start off by placing in the first coordinate all the way at the bottom in between the repeater and the command block write down that coordinate mine is two four negative three 88 and next up what we're going to do is just go all the way to the top all the way to the top and go like right here right next to your repeater now if you're making this go higher obviously you got to go a lot higher than this or if you want to make it go higher in case in the future you want to do more then i would re recommend doing that as well i recommend making going higher so i'm going to make mine go right here you just have to make sure that it goes to the last one at the tippy tip top so for my second coordinate i'm just going to go ahead and put in that one so mine's going to be 2 21 negative 3 
88. So that's going to be all of my coordinates. The only number that should change is your middle number. That's the only one that should change. And now what that's going to do is take away the line of blocks that's going to be in between the repeater and those command blocks, which are actually going to be stone. I like just using stone because it's an easy one. Just place any block in between the repeaters from right now. It doesn't really matter because it's just going to get replaced with stone anyway. So to start things off with your player detection, which I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a red concrete block this time. I'm going to come over here and on the opposite hand side on the up function, we'll do the up function first and then the down function. So over here, we're going to place a block, place in a uh, command block, go inside that command block. And now we're going to put in fill, take that new command that we just got for our player detection coordinates. So we're going to put two, four, negative three, 88, two, 21, negative three, 88 that is for my player detection coordinates and we're just going to put in air so what that will do is it will get rid of that line of blocks making it so no one could do the instant call function unless the person is done going in and out of the elevator now we're going to set it up so those blocks come back when the person reaches his destination now to do that all we have to do is where we have this side for our door we literally just have to go to this side and place in our other one so we're going to come right here place in our command blocks, put in that same command. We're just going to be using the player detection command for every single one. That's it. We're just going to use that one every single time. So fill and then put in your player detection coordinates, two, four, negative three, 88, two, 21, negative three, 88, and put stone at the end. So now a stone pillar will come back once it's done. So if I come over here, I can actually go in and show you guys it working. So uh, you know what? Uh, let me go ahead and quickly uh, bring it back. <laughs> let me just send some power to this core uh, block right here so I can just show you guys it working. So take that out, put this here, and boop, hit that. So right now the stone pillar's there. As you see the stone pillar's there. However, if we go to floor two, it will turn this off. It will get rid of the stone pillar until you reach floor two. So if I hit this right here, boom, goes away. And then once it hits floor two, it comes back. And see, that's how everything works. So once you're at the floor, you can leave the elevator and then the other person can finally call the elevator in. So now we have to set it up so when we go to floor two to floor three, it closes up again. So that is very, very simple. All we have to do is come one in, just one command block in right here, place a block, place another command block, and then we're gonna be writing out the same one we did here with air. We're gonna turn it to air. So go here, go to your player detection once again, type in fill, type out your player detection coordinate, mine's two, four, negative three, 88, 221 negative 388 air and that's it so now if you want to we can quickly go ahead and do the next one so all it is is always two blocks in it's always just two blocks in so one two and this is where the next air one goes right here so if i go right here place another command block this is where my next air one goes just gotta you know write out fill two four negative 388 or whatever yours is of course yours is going to be different 21 negative 388 and i'm going to write out air just like that so now we have all our air command blocks in for when the elevator is going so the deletion of the pillar going up is done now we have to just put in the stone ones like we did right here with the stone ones we just have to place it like i said right next to the block right here so we're going to come on to this side come up right above this one place a block in place your command block in right next to that redstone go inside of it and now we're going to turn it to stone so fill put in our player detection again 388 to 21 negative 388 and then put stone in and that will bring the pillar back and same thing over here come over here this is like i said this is just for people in case they're going to make the elevator bigger go right here go inside of it and we're going to go ahead and put it in our player command again so fill 24 negative 388 221 negative 388 stone so now our entire up function should be working so if i come down here first let me go ahead and quickly uh, call in the elevator here and let's say I want to make it go all the way to floor four. Let's make it go all the way to floor four. If I come over here, as you can see, I can click the button all I want, but it won't do anything until the elevator reaches floor four and the person gets off. You see, floor four opens up, person can get off of it, and then it comes back. Now we can finally call it back down to us. So our whole entire up function is working. Now it's time to just make our down function working, which is just going to be the same thing, guys. It's the same exact thing we did over here. The first one over here starts off it by turning it to air. So we come to this side, place our first command block in, go in here and just turn it into air so fill put put in our command two four negative three eighty eight two twenty one negative three eighty eight and turn that to air and then you know over here we're gonna come over here to this line of dust right here place in our command block and this one's gonna turn it to stone so here fill <laughs> two four negative three eighty eight two twenty one negative three eighty eight and we're gonna turn this one to stone and just like the air one we're gonna come in two blocks so come in one two 
This is where another air one's going to go. Same thing over here. We're going to come in one, two, and that's where the next air one's going to go. So if we want to quickly do those, just go in here, and the ones with stone. So come to this line of dust right here, block, place in our command block, go inside of it. This one's going to be turned to stone, but it's the same coordinate over and over again. So two, four, negative three, 88, two, 21, negative three, 88, stone. And then same thing over here for the last one and guys that's it you are completely done with the detection you're completely done with the elevator once you plug in this last command block so phil two four negative three eighty eight two twenty one negative three eighty eight and there we have it guys you have completed this entire elevator <laughs> and like i said if you want to make it go higher you absolutely can it's so easy to make it go up higher and higher and higher but now every floor should be working perfectly oh you know what? we're not done yet we have to make it so it's nice so now we just got to take out the coloring of our walling let's fill this in over here first like that so we can no longer see in there let's fill up here on this side as well one more time there we go making this look all nice before i end it off but guys you're done that's it the elevator is completely done it took such a long time to make it i know oh uh, if anyone made this elevator and made it to the end of the video Please do show me it on Twitter or send me a message that you have built the elevator. I would love to know if you've built this elevator because it did take a while to explain it. And I would love to know if anyone actually did build it. So there we go. There we go. And see, now you can have it on the outside of the building too if you want to show it off from the outside as well. But let's go ahead and test it out to make sure everything is working. But everything should be working. So I'm on floor one. So let's say I want to go to floor two. Click the button. Door closes. Go up to floor two. Door opens up. Floor three. Click the button, go up to floor three, door closes, door opens up. I want to go to floor four, click the button, floor four, boom, there we go. Maybe I want to go back down to floor two, boom, hit that, go all the way down to floor two, door opens up. Oh, maybe I want to go back up to, maybe I want to go down to floor one, boom, floor one, floor three. It's a multi-floor elevator. All of them are working absolutely fine, and all your instant call function should be working fine. So, you know, click this button up here, instant calls the elevator, boop, there it is. Click the button down here, boop, there it is. Click the button down here, boop, there it is. Everything is working. So like always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not to stay tuned with my newest videos. And please do let me know on Twitter or in the comment section below if you built this entire elevator because you deserve some props because it does take a while to build this thing. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.